Good morning, folks. We've been watching a lot of solar flares and CME eruptions lately. Luckily, the last day was a bit lighter. We'll go over the CME impacts, what's still coming, and some good science as well, but we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. You can see here it was a much quieter day, still had a few small flares, nothing major. We'll keep an eye out for any resurgence in that field today, but the bigger story right now is here at Earth with the solar wind. You can see here we've taken the first two impacts from CMEs. The first one was in the middle of the day yesterday, and the second one last night. Bit of good news is that the magnetic angle of the second impact switched to one more easily deflected by Earth's magnetic field. The geomagnetic conditions are mild at worst, with the level 1 geomagnetic storm event developing now. We've still got the final CME en route, which is expected tonight. Eyes open for Aurora as the next one sparks a more significant geomagnetic event in all likelihood. Folks, we recently saw how the sunspot number for July was the highest monthly total in more than 20 years. Now NOAA is saying that August 8th, three days ago, the daily count likely hit 299, which would also be the highest mark in more than 20 years. The solar cycle is certainly giving reason to take notice, and it's not done yet. Let's go next to the tropics, where a low is developing as it heads for the Americas, and they say this one could turn into Ernesto in a few days near to where Debbie began intensifying. Forecast tracks are being modeled, will be shared in upcoming shows as the storm develops. Interesting story up next about the strange rotation of a nearby star. They say its differential rotation profile is a first, where its mid-latitude regions spin the fastest. The Sun and every other star they've studied in this way spin slowest at the poles and fastest at the equator, but not this one. Astronomers are very much stumped. This shouldn't even be possible. Up next, a good reminder of how off ancient geologic event dating can be. Two drilling sites, kind of nearby to each other, recorded a magnetic pole shift, but the sediment coring has them 10 meters off, more than 30 feet. It's just a reminder that oftentimes the drill depth and the dating of past events is not so straightforward as we would like. Lastly, folks, interesting new release from Gaia showing asteroids in the inner solar system. The actual orbit map is a crazy thing to see. Sun is the central yellow dot, Blue ones are near Earth, green near Mars, red are the Trojan asteroids. They have even mapped hundreds of asteroids that have their own moons. Nobody was really expecting that one. This is good as Neo Wise was just retired by NASA. The monitoring of space rocks nearby is keeping pace with Gaia. We greatly appreciate your support. Remember, got that one last CME impact to watch for tonight. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now at 6 15 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone